Hello geeks, my name is Vamp and you guys are watching Code with Vamp. Today in the series of Expo Vamp, we are going to expose another scam which claims that you have won credit card points which will expire soon mostly by tomorrow and it will ask you to click on a particular link. As I always say, never ever click on the link if it's not from an authentic source or an authentic person. So few days back, I have received this message on my cell phone uh from a scammer probably and i thought i must show you what they are actually up to so that uh, you all can save yourself and others around you from falling in this trap okay so you can see the message on the screen and you can see that particular link uh, so what we are going, going to do so let me first open my kali linux and i must say you don't try this on your personal computer don't ever try to click on a link i am doing this th these things in the restrictive environment i am doing all the things on the top browser so that my ip is not tracked or all these things okay so don't try this uh, with your personal computer or where your personal stuffs are there okay so firstly open my kali next here Okay, so I have already set up my Tor browser and I am uh, from the non-root user. So if you, in case if you want to know if you are the techie, if you are non-technical, just just keep watching what they are actually up to. Okay, so if you see the message, it says that uh, dear customer, your contact credit card points worth uh, INR9870 expired by tomorrow. Kindly redeem your points in cash by click here. Okay, so grammatical mistake. So you, you just can't find it that it's a grammatical mistake and and uh, bank like Kotec won't do this kind of mistake too. If you just fall in trap and somehow you clicked on uh, this particular link, what will happen to you? So this is what we are gonna uh, simulate here. So the link is https colon slash slash bit dot ly so it's a, uh, it, it has been shortened by bitly and if you don't know about it i've already made a video how you can uh, shorten your link and how the scammers use it for their own purpose okay so firstly what we will do we will just unshorten this link and see what's the actual link here okay so so what i will do first i will try to unshorten that url and for that i will type unshorten url sorry enter and which one should i use okay so let's go with this one so here you have to paste your url and you have to click here and then it will unshorten it so unshorten So you can see here the actual uh, URL is HTTP uh, and then colon slash slash some rewards points redeem dot co okay so it's definitely not from okay let me make it a bigger so that you can see it clearly so it's definitely not from some uh, Kotec Mahindra bank so it's definitely a scam so what we are gonna do we are gonna look into this particular uh, url and see what they are actually asking for so if you are a naive person and you just saw that message and uh, you, um, unfortunately you click on that particular message what will happen so we are going to see it here so let's just copy this so even if you just go by that particular url or by this particular one okay you will uh, indirectly or directly reach to the same page so I will just paste it here, hit enter and this will uh, pop up on your screen uh, when you will click on that particular link okay so what are the information they are actually asking for they are asking for your full name then your then your uh, registered phone number registered emails enter your email password can you see that okay let me make it bigger so if if they would be asking your full name that would be okay they're asking for your registered phone number that is also okay they are asking for email id 
this is also okay but for your password why would anyone ask your password for your email so never ever do this kind of thing here never ever give your password because none of the bank or none of the institution will ask your uh, personal password for any kind of offer okay so keep this in your mind now they will ask your uh, date of birth <laughs> then the monetary thing that is your card number and then definitely they will ask your expiry date <laughs> okay so they are also asking for your cvv number so if you are having some uh, debit card uh, you know that uh, there is a cvv number and for any of the transaction you need the cvv number so they are directly asking for your cvv number and you must know that you should not share share your cvv number to any of the person okay so if you're thinking some of the uh, highly minded people think that uh, there is no issue i'm sharing my card number and i'm sharing my cvv but still without otp they are not going to make transitions if you are thinking like that bro clear your mind because you can just google it just see there are a number of incidents already happening in which uh, the hackers or the scammers can bypass this uh, need of otp okay so they don't need your otp if they have your card number and if they have your cvv number they can easily bypass it uh, they don't need otp even there are a number of services available which does not uh, even require your otp for the transaction uh, you can you can probably you can probably uh, see it in the steam gaming if you are the steam game player you know that if you are purchasing any kind of games from steam you don't have to enter the otp so these kind of things are already there so that they can directly make any transaction without your otp so never ever share your card details in especially your cvv i mean these are some nice kind of scammers they are directly asking your cvv and your m pin i don't know why they are asking for your m pin but believe me uh, this particular thing here entered your email password and here your enter your cvv if you are looking these kind of things anywhere you should know that it's some kind of scam okay even though you don't have to share your uh, name your email your date of birth and all these things to to any of the unauthorized uh, stores okay so and and one most uh, and one most important thing here you can see the url it's written by uh, rewards points redeem.co so if it's uh, from the kotak mahindra bank definitely it should be the subdomain of the kotak mahindra uh, it should not be like rewards points redeem.co it's, it's just a basic understanding okay so i know that if you are a techie and if you are watching this video uh, i know that you are aware of these things but the people around you your mother father or maybe um, some of the people who are not in the tech stuff they are not aware of these things so i would request you to please pass this information or uh, pass this video probably if you can so that they can get aware of these things and don't fall in this kind of trap okay so what we will do we will try uh, to get more information about this particular website and what they are actually up to so the first thing we always do is we go in on the virus total and okay so so firstly we will go on virus total and we will see that if it's got detected by any of the search engines or maybe it got reported by any of the other search engines so this was our website i'll copy it i will go in virus total i will open it so here is the tab for url i will just paste it here and i will click on search so no engines detected this url or maybe it's something very new so let's go to the details uh, so this is the ip address uh, for this website and probably uh, none of the engines have reported 
or none of the people have reported this particular website that is why uh, it's not been reported or given by any of the search engines as a fake website okay so what we will do we will try some another website and see if we can uh, get some information about this particular uh, URL or not okay so what we will do we will just go with our social engineering methods and we have already seen how we can use netgraph how we can use robtex to get the information about particular website so here we are not uh, doing the digging for any uh, legitimate website it's the fake one so we it's it's kind of legal if you if you're just digging the information from criminal okay so what i will do i will just open netcraft here So if, so if you have not seen how to use netcraft how to use robtex uh, i have already made a playlist uh, where you can uh, learn about how to uh, get information of a particular website using netcraft using uh, robtex and all the other things so i'm still working on those things but all the videos are already there you can just go and watch that i will <laughs> i will put a link in the description box so here is the netcraft and i will open what we are doing now we are just trying to uh, collect more information uh, regarding that particular website so we are trying to see if we can get uh, more information or not i will just enter our uh, website that is our fake website url and i will click here and let's see if we can get some information or not now the best part is uh, here you can also report it as a fraud and let me make it bigger to see if it got detected by netcraft or not okay so here you can see netcraft risk rating is 10 by 10 so this is something good now the site is you know reverse point .co, and definitely the hosting company is godaddy.com <laughs> So you can see uh, these information you can actually get from netcraft and you can get the IP address and okay so other information okay so this particular website is associated with united states and singapore i'm not sure okay so it's also showing the ip location so somewhere uh, at this place maybe i don't know how much accurate it is but it, it's also showing the ip geolocation that is the ip address from where it, it has been hosted so it's somewhere in the Singapore okay so we, we just don't want to get into the that much detail because we are not going to catch that a scammer uh, because there are lots of scammer out there uh, but my main purpose is to make you aware okay now hosting company history and we will see if we can get more information okay so this particular website is using three kind of trackers also one is cloudflare and then google and then maxidian okay any other information okay no other information see on other website if we can fetch more information about it or not so we will try robtex also now firstly we have gone through netcraft uh, to collect the dns information now we are here on the robtex and see what are the information we can get here also so i'm just pasting the same url here and i will click, click on go and these all things i have already explained in separate video regarding the robtex so i have made a separate video for robtex i have made a separate video for netcraft but here i am just okay so some kind of ads 
I have never been to this particular thing. Okay, so let's scroll down. Make it bigger. So let's see if we can get information here. Same information, godaddy.com and the location is Singapore, you can see. So the person from Singapore is messaging here. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but okay. And what analysis is still going on? We'll scroll down. Okay, how much I have to scroll? Hmm. So I can't see the global ranking, maybe some new website it is so the IP numbers and the name servers okay and the graph is three holes you can see the complete graph here so I mean uh, how it's connected to the domain name servers godaddy.com and what are the name servers uh, which are the e website which are the ns which are the ptrs so these all things are available here so uh, let's not go into the technology here i just wanted you to show that um, this particular website is really 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 fake and you have already seen it because it is asking you for um, your CPV number, your email password. So never ever I just, I just keep repeating myself I know but I really want to emphasize on this particular thing because even after telling so many times people share their password and their CPV numbers in the greed of some points or some money. I don't know why, why they do it even after telling so many times because none of the official from any uh, institution will ask your CVV, your password, and all these things. Okay, so please be aware. And so, one more thing I would like to uh, share here because this is very, very important. Because most of the time, people think that uh, what bad could happen if we just click on a particular link. I mean, uh, they think that uh, the bad would only happen if they fill the form and then click on that particular redeem now point so that all the information will be transferred to the scammer or the hacker but this is not the case all the time okay sometimes or you can just go and google it uh, the hackers or the scammers can make the link in such a way that the moment you click on the link uh, you may be transferring a lot of information about your computer and yourself okay so i always request and i always recommend never ever click on the link if it's from uh, any of the unauthentic user you may have seen that it suddenly popped up in your emails in your message box and anywhere on the whatsapp maybe by your friends so never ever touch any kind of the email if it's not from one of the authentic user so get to know about these uh, links uh, by the methods that i have already shown you here you can just try that uh, you can just shorten it you can just analyze it on the virus total so these are the safe things you can do it but never try uh, to click just like the way i did here because i was doing all these things in the restrictive environment but it could be possible that you are not under the restrictive environment and you will lose all your information so i don't want that so let's close this video i hope you have got the idea and probably would never share your uh, personal information your password your cvv uh, with any of the uh, non-authentic user okay so thank you very much guys for watching this video we will definitely meet in the next video uh, with some another scam proof till then stay curious stay protected